Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So we are on Mixed Media Canvas for Beginners Part 2. And you can find Part 1 down below in the description or click the link here. So now what we're doing is our third layer and we're adding stamps. And I'm using a permanent ink pad, which just stays on. There's Memento. You can use those um, because you don't want it to... Uh, be you know reactivated with whatever we put over it and as you can see i'm not stamping the whole stamp i'm just putting uh, the ink pad on it and i am layering it uh, all over uh, the same with this stamp i'm only taking bits and pieces of it and putting it on this is the first layer was the uh, scrapbook paper the second layer was the pink uh, paint and then this is the third layer that we're doing right now and we're just adding it all over because it's just going to add some more texture when we add our next part on. Very simple. And I'm sticking with colors that blend, you know, that match the colors that I'm going for. You can see that's an amazing muddy, uh, muddy. <laughs> that's an amazing mold putty stamp that I made. And I will have a quick video on how to do that coming up. Very easy. And I'm only putting ink on, you know, some of it. And I'm going to push it down everywhere just so I get some of it um, all over. And this is orange. And I'm just laying it all over. I'm, like I said, trying to stay in the same color range. And just rubbing it on there and putting it down and all that kind of thing. These are fun to do with uh, stencils to make stamps as well. Um, to trade with others and that kind of thing. Very easy. And I'm going to use that stencil. Oh, no. Now I'm going to use the, uh, that's right, I'm going to use the note, uh, music note stamp. And I'm just putting it all over. And I'm using black on this one because I want this to kind of show. And I'm not worrying about uh, how much shows through. I'm just laying it down. And I'm going to show you in a second how you can see just that little bit. And you can see I'm not worrying. I'm just putting it everywhere. And now see how you can see that little bit underneath there? This is just that wonderful layer. And um, it's just I love doing it. Now this great stencil. And this is from uh, Deco Art, And this is our Deco Art Media. This is Cyan. Uh, color cyan and I'm spraying it but you're gonna see it's a little clogged but I just go with it um, and that's why I kind of left it on here so you guys can see sometimes they get clogged and I didn't clean it first so now I'm using the magenta but I'm gonna pick up the stencil and I'm leaving that there I'm not taking it off and I'm gonna pat it on the other side so that ink goes on there and now I'm spraying the magenta so um, that's a great way to use your stencils two different ways as you can see, and then I turn it over and I get the opposite effect. So you get two different great effects from one stencil. So, uh, you know, that works out great. Now I'm just, I'm drying it. And if you don't have a heat gun, um, I was blessed to have the, to get this uh, as a gift. Um, use your hair dryer. Use your hair dryer. Go to the thrift store. They're very, very cheap at the thrift store and use that. Uh, heat guns are fantastic and they're used for embossing, but you don't have to have it. Or you can just leave it sit for five minutes and dry if you don't have anything dries very, very quickly. And the uh, deco art mists are permanent. So when they dry, they won't smear or anything. But if you don't have anything like that, use, you know, whatever you have, your homemade ones, your dilutions, your, uh, oh gosh, there's a million different ones out there that you can use and make yourself. So, you know, nothing, no harm, no foul. Now these are rub-ons and I'm a rub-on freak. I cannot have enough rub-ons. So I don't necessarily care what they say. I'm just going to put it on there and I'm going to rub it. And you're going to see I'm going real, uh, <laughs> there we go, with a marker. That's what I'm going to rub off on. And I don't need the whole thing on there. I just want some more for texture. So remember, we did our uh, paper down first. Then we did our pink uh, paint. Then we did our uh, stamps. Then we did our stencils. And now we're doing our rub-ons. This is lay layer five. And um, I just love doing it. I just, this is why I love mixed media. I can just mindlessly go and play and lay it down and not worry about it. So I always advise you guys, no matter what you're doing, turn your canvas or your paper or your art journal or whatever, because uh, you see things from a different way and, you know, you're adding more texture and color and whatnot in a different way than you would if you're just looking at it straight. So I love doing that. And again, just rubbing. No big deal. I love doing it. And I'm showing you there's only little bits and pieces left. And I'm going to rub them on there too. Now I'm going to be drawing uh, something on top of here. Um, but I do have one more. One or two more little layers to put on. Which 
you know, will be the next video, but I, I just love it. I just love it. And my hands, because you have to have crappy hands when you're painting full of paint. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to get white and green uh, in the media misters. And I'm taking that stencil and you, you're going to see that I'm going to have trouble with my hands trying to pick this up off of the canvas. But guess what? I don't care. I push it. I do whatever I got to do to get it up. Um, <laughs> that's what she said. And um, don't mind my 10 year old boy humor. But uh, yeah, so then I just turn it over and I'm just adding the white just adds some more to it. Just some more, you know, texture and, and all. And this is, I believe, Granny Smith in the green in the mists and you can see I'm just spraying it everywhere. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting and find all the links down below. Love you guys.